Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings goes out to the hopeful elect pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days all right now um i have a i have a few video clips here that i want to you know go into which is going to be the um source of inspiration for this video all right now it's concerning this rapper that goes by the name of ice spice you know she's one of these um new age rappers you know totally void of any talent and um promotes an abundance of wickedness to our people all right our people being you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You know, she's she's known for twerking. You know, she's known for, you know, going on stage practically, you know, naked. Okay. And, um, you know, just twerking before the crowd. And um, this just shows you, you know, why the wicked of our people being the two-thirds in the land of America, specifically I'm talking about now, have got to be destroyed, okay? Because the levels of wickedness and the levels of um, abominable behavior has reached, you know, legendary proportions, man, all right? So legendary proportions of judgment from Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai is going to rain down in due season. Now, I want to um, play this first clip and then there's another clip just to show you that these celebrities, you know, they blatantly show you that they have, you know, sold out compromise themselves on the highest level and um they don't hide it all right they have particular as we always go into they have particular hand signs they have particular um you know things they say you know in particular interviews and so on and so forth to let you know that they pledge allegiance to satan all right the spiritual demon satan okay and um, again, you know, these things are not hidden, all right? To those that can see, you can see blatantly that these, these individuals have sold out to the spiritual demon Satan and um, have signed a deal, all right, with the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, being Esau Edom, you know, via way of, you know, the um, the entertainment industry, Okay which is what a lot of our people, you know, happen to be, um, you know, shrouded in, is the, the you know, the realms of entertainment. You know, as the scripture tells us in the, in the book of Psalms, you know, they require of, of us a song, you know. They like to um, exploit, you know, Jake's talent and have Jake playing the role of, um, you know, a jester, you know, in their kingdom, so to speak. All right. Now, without further delay, let me um let me play this video, and then um Lord willing, well, there's two videos. I'll play the two videos, and then Lord willing, we'll get into a few scriptures. Oh, body strikes like I'm Christian. No, I'm just yeah, no, no. I'm gonna just say this prayer so the Lord protect us as we go through the rest of the night and the rest of our careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. Lord, thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place. 
Salakia. So what I wanted to say is that you have this guy that goes by the name of Ty Lil, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he's basically, <laughs> you know, as they do, you know, they, they throw up a prayer before they go on stage or, you know, after the, 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 the tour is finished, you know, you would usually see, you know, these rappers and entertainers, you know, they'll hold hands in a circle and, you know, send up a prayer to, um, to, to JC, all right? Because obviously, you know, they're void of light, you know, so they're coming in the name of JC, just like the IUIC. And, um, what you notice is her body language, all right? He's sending up this prayer and she just can't stop gyrating, all right? She just can't stop moving, okay? She, you can tell she has a real heavy, um, you know, sex demon, you know, upon her, all right? Because that's what her, her music embodies. It's just, you know, pure vulgar and outright um, explicit, you know, sex talk, all right? That's her, that's her, um, that's her talent, you know, that Esau uses her to project, okay? Uh, and we are, we all want to experience different things in our lives, Shad, so thank you so much for bringing all of us together and the same place. We're Look at her body language. She can't stop moving. Right now with this amazing stream and our amazing team. In a seductive we fashion. We are from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place, which is the top end. We are, we all want to experience different things Licking in our lives, lips, Shad, so you know, thank you so much <laughs> for bringing and together. moving back and, and forth. And I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each Pout, other, and pouting. I pray that you allow us to reach any measures in his life, and just watch over us daily, you bless us, you allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft, and you help us enjoy this night, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, right when he said, you know, amen, and they started clapping, you notice with her hands, you know, she threw up the devil horn sign. So there it is. So as soon as he said amen and they started clapping, she threw up, you know, the devil horns, which all of these celebrities, at some point, you're going to find an image of them or video of them showing, throwing up, you know, you know, the devil horns, man, which there's a particular name for it, but it escapes me, you know, at the moment, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, he usually um, goes into, you know, the actual um, proper name, you know, to coin that particular hand sign, if I'm not mistaken. But as you can see there, you know, she's throwing it up and she's pledging her allegiance to who? To Satan, okay? Because these celebrities have sold out, you know, they've compromised themselves on the highest level. And they show you, you know, through their through their hand signs, they show you through the things they say, they show you through their actions what they're really about. All right. And she just couldn't help herself. She had to do that. You know, that's within her, you know. That is within her. You know, her spirit is totally tainted and totally darkened, all right, by the left hand side. Now let's get a quick scripture. This is um, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 26. And it reads, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul or her soul? All right. So these individuals have sold out. Okay. They have sold out. They have compromised themselves on the highest level, okay? In turn, you know, to receive a corruptible crown in the kingdom of Esau Edom, to receive fame, okay? To receive money, okay? To have access to um, fleshly things that can tantalize your flesh on this side, okay? That's what they're sold out for. And that's our people, all right? She's an, a wicked Israelite woman. Now, second scripture I want to get. Actually, you know what? Before I get that scripture, let's um get the, the other video I have loaded up here. 
which is another video showing, you know, her throwing up the, um, you know, the horns. You see? So she has, um, this woman has a lot of, um, spirits upon her, man. You know, you can see it upon her countenance. All right, she has a very dark and a very satanic spirit, you know, upon her. And she's glorying in the fact that she has taken that deal. All right, and she ain't shying away at every given moment, you know, to represent the left-hand side and to show her affiliation, you know, with um Satan, okay? And a physical counterpart of Satan who is, you know, Esau Edom. You know, the elites of Esau Eden, beginning with the elites. All right. She, she's not wasting any opportunity to show who her affiliation lies with and who her loyalty lies with. You see, so, you know, these these celebrities are going to be destroyed, man. All right, these celebrities, these Jake celebrities, they're all going to be destroyed. They're low level, um, lesser luminaries on the left hand side <clears throat> who Esau uses in order to um tap into their their ability to captivate you know the minds of Jake and lead them astray. You know, so this is Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22, and it reads, For my people is foolish. They have not known me, they are sought as children, and they have done and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Alright, so our people, they're wise to do evil. When our people are off, they're all the way off. Alright? When our people are, you know, transgressing, you know, they go they go all out. Okay? And that's the nature of our people. The scriptures tell us um, that the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. All right. So our people are easily seduced by the ways of the wicked. OK, and that's because the wicked are in power. So as, again, it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Now, the scriptures also tell us in the Apocrypha that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. All right, because these celebrities, they have to do all kinds of, you know, deep and dark ritualistic things in order to maintain that position. All right. They have to do some real sick things in order to keep that position, man. All right. So they're completely consumed in darkness. And that reminds me of um, what's that? John uh, 3 and 19. Let's get that right quick. <clears throat> This is John chapter 3, and um, yep, verse 19. For what do you have on Shem Shai? And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, all right? So they loved darkness rather than light, all right? And they, 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 they fall, you know, in that darkness, man. They proper, you know, embrace that darkness. They get fully involved. You know, they dress head to toe in black. You know, they be wearing upside down crosses, all right, or crosses in general. Okay, they they get all up into it. All right, uh, there's, there's there's a lot of our people, you know, in the realm of these, you know, celebrities, that you know really push that wicked and dark vibration. All right. And that is not the natural state, you know, of our people, you know, being Israelites. You know, that's a spirit that has been, um, you know, pushed and been upheld, you know, by Esau Edom. But again, because he has the power, you know, our, our people fall under that demonic vibration. OK, and make it, you know, into their own. Even even up, uh, up until the point of doing it better than Esau Edom, the wicked himself. All right. And the scriptures tell us about that. Have we, you know, um, you know, surpassed the, the deeds of the wicked, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. It doesn't say in that particular um, phrasing, but, it, um, you know, 
it denotes that kind of meaning. You know how our people have, you know, excelled the wickedness of even the wicked themselves. Okay. So that's what I really wanted to get in this particular lesson. Um, Lord willing, it was um, edifying. And um, until the next time, I'll say Shalom.